everybody. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, where we come together to share great info on skincare, makeup, and healthy living, all designed to help make our second half our best half. And today we're talking about best-selling drugstore makeup. And if you're like me, there's nothing better than going to the drugstore and coming home with a full bag of new makeup. And that's exactly what I did yesterday. I actually went online to walmart.com put in best-selling as my category, pulled up a full range of best-selling products, chose my products, then went to Walmart, pulled up in the driveway there, and they came out and brought the makeup all to my car. And I have all of the best-selling drugstore makeup on my face today, and I think it is absolutely beautiful. It turned out just beautifully, very easy to do. And some of the products I'll be showing you are the Profusion Matte Eyeshadow Palette, Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation, L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, Wet n Wild Color Con Bronzer, Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter, topped off with Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. Those are just some of the items that I'll be showing you today. Many of them were new to me, and as I go through the makeup video, I will be sharing that information, which I really liked, which I wasn't so sure about. And I hope you'll stick around to the end of the video because I have some fabulous jewelry to show you. It looks so expensive. It looks very high end, but it is not. And that will be the last thing I'll be sharing with you today, so please stick around for that. So now it's time for me to quit talking and show you my best-selling drugstore makeup application. Okay, I have my skincare and sunblock on, and I also have my eyeshadow primer, and one of the highest rated ones ever in its drugstore is Milani, and I'm using that, and it really has nulled out the redness on my eyelids. Really do like that. I also went in and did my brows, and I used the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil in the color Blonde, and I love this one because look at that great tip. It is a big wide tip and it covers up a lot of gray brows, which I have a lot of gray brows, but the only thing it does not do is like a lot of blonde eyebrow pencils, it is not quite blonde enough because I can't seem to get my natural brows any blonder with dye. So I have to use a product like this. And this is the NYX mascara and this is in the color blonde. And I actually already have it on this eye so you can kind of see what it does and I'm going to go ahead and put it on the other eye, and this is very, very highly rated. And as you can see, it just actually colorizes my brows a little bit. It just brought the heavy darkness out of my brows and made them look a little bit more blonde, which I really do appreciate. I wish they would come up with some sort of brow dye that would really work and cover the grays. So that just softened those brows just a little bit. And next, I'm going to do a little of this NYX Control Freak, which is super highly rated. It is a bestseller, and it just puts the brows in place and keeps them there the whole day long. It's like a little brow hairspray, and I really do like that. Okay, now, for the past about maybe nine months, I've been doing my eyes first because I always get fallout underneath, and so if you do your eyes first, you can just go in with a makeup wipe underneath, which is just great. So I am using a bestseller that surprised me. This is the Maybelline The City Mini Palette. There it is, and this is in their Master Mattes color. They had one that is mattes, and I've really been concentrating on mattes lately. Look at all those gorgeous neutral shadows. And I'll just go ahead and put those on. And I'm using a mixture of BK Beauty and Angie brushes. I will go ahead, this is a BK Beauty brush. This is the 203. They're kind of interchangeable in a lot of ways. I'll just go in with these two colors right here to do the lids. I have a mirror right off camera here. I'll go ahead and uh, finish that lid. Then I'll go ahead and do some brow color using the same, using the same brush. I don't think it really matters. They're, they're both just kind of colors to cover up that area. I'll go in and do the other side. I am really finding that using matte shadows is making a big difference in the wrinkly look of my lids, the crepiness that I get there. I do love the shimmer shadows, but I think their days are numbered for me, definitely. And let's see what color we'll do for the crease. I guess we will go in and try this little color down here, tap it off and just go ahead and blend it in there. Boy, that's a very light looking crease color, isn't it? I have to say that generally, I love drugstore products. However, I find that in eyeshadows, that is the most difficult area to find a really good drugstore shadow in because they don't tend to be all that pigmented. And quite honestly, I'm, I'm not really loving this. 
I probably should have tried a Profusion Shadow because they're like $5 and they're very high sellers too and they are wonderful. You know, I don't like that at all. Okay, you know, I just can't show you this product. I do not like this. I don't care that it was highly rated. It is really not going on very pigmented at all. And I think it's around five or six bucks. And I too love these Profusion Shadows. And they are also very good bestsellers at Walmart too. And this is their mattes palette. So let's go ahead and regroup and start back with the uh, beginning of the eye with this mattes palette. And so here we go. Look at all those fantastic colors you have to choose from. I guess I'll just mix this and this to do the lid color. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> That's a lot better. Just continue blending those two colors. Very, very pretty. Now we'll go in and use this color called Sugar up here. Yes, much more pigmented. Really do like that much better. I can't show you stuff that I just don't think is that great. And that was new to me. And I guess there was a reason I hadn't bought it before. <laughs> okay, now I'll go into the crease color and let's choose one. Okay, let's go ahead and use this little color down here, Top Notch. Not a super dark color, but I think it's great for the crease. And again, always start your crease brush color at the area that you want the dar darkest, which is usually right out there in that corner, in that outer V. Now, let's go ahead and darken up that crease a little bit. We'll go into this color called Twilight. And just do a little more in the outer V. Oh yeah, I like that. Very, very nice. I love this palette too because you get so many different eyeshadows. And you can go really neutral one day and then you can go wild with some of these colors, which every now and then is fun. Okay, now let's go in and do a little outer corner work and this is the Angie 504. We'll go ahead and use that twilight color again. Put the palette down. You just hold your Hold your lid a little bit right there. Dip in there again. Tap off that brush. Now let's go in with the Angie 503, which is a blender, and just kind of blend out that crease. Blend out all the hard edges, especially in that outer V area. Looks a lot better. Do it on this side. The blending is the part that sometimes I forget and I think it's really really important. Not just for your eyes but all over your face. Okay now I'm ready for eyeliner and this is the Milani Tattoo Studio Gel Liner in the color Bold Brown. <laughs> I'm trying to get away from a bold looking liner so we'll see how it goes. Just go right along there. Just going to try to do a pretty faint line. That goes on really well. We'll do the other eye. So there's that other eye. This goes on beautifully. I love this. It's very smooth. I'm going to go ahead and go into the waterline too with this. It feels like it would do that very well. Just right underneath that lash. Oh, that looks good. I'll do this side. Oh, that's nice. And what I've been doing is going in and doing just a little bit of water lining on the outside, basically right when you get to the color, right from that point out. I'll just do a little bit. That eye has a little bit in the water line from about the middle of the eye out. Okay, now the liner is on both eyes. Okay, next I'm going to go into a best-selling mascara, and this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. This is brown black, and I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera, and I'll curl my lashes and come back all mascara up. Okay, I'm back after having applied the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara, and I really do like this. It is not a glammy, glammy look, and it's called voluminous, but I almost think it gives you a little more length. And it does have separated lashes, doesn't have a lot of clumps, but I did have a few, and if you don't have this little guy, I think you should get it. This is a metal lash comb. I've had this one for years, 
I think I got it at Ulta, but it's a tweezer man, and basically it just helps clean up your mascara. Between coats of mascara, it's inevitable that you get little clumps or you get groups of lashes that are stuck together, and so you just go in with this little lash comb, metal lash comb, and separate them out. It really works well. Another thing I did off camera is I realized that I had a lot of, you know, hairs in this area and also just some facial hair. And for those of you who have followed my channel, you know that I do shave my face every day in the shower. And I'll link a video there or there that shows you my 35 years of face shaving. And no, it does not give you stubble, or at least it doesn't give me stubble. It just keeps my skin pretty, pretty cleaned off. However, I also go in occasionally, maybe about once every week or two, with this Michael Todd Beauty Sonic Trim Duo. And what this does, it is a little head that gets all those under brow little scragglies. So I just did that. And then I also use this on my face. And a lot of people ask, Beth, since you shave your face every day, why would you need this? Well, the face shaving, you know, it's a man's razor and it doesn't get up close to your nose and it really doesn't get everything off your face. It just gets the main peach fuzz off your face. But I go in with this every now and then because I like my foundation to appear very flawless and I think it just gives me much more beautiful looking skin. And I always link this with a skin store discount because the only place I've found on the internet where you can get discounts on great high-end skincare tools like this is at skinstore.com. I have a discount code there, Beth, which gives you 25% off. Yes, 25% off. And you can see that because once you put an item in the cart, just put the discount code Beth in and you can see immediately before you even buy it if it's taken off to 25%. But this goes from $59, and that's what it is all over the internet, to like $44.99 or $44.50 using my discount code at Skin Store. And if you don't have one of these, I think they're great. And it's called the Duo because it helps your brows and your face. Okay, let's get back to this. And one of the problems I have is large pores. And I'm going to do this really quickly. This is a wonderful little product that actually I have had on and off for years. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And it is truly one of the best products I've ever found. And I was so happy to know it was a bestseller because I almost thought they had gotten rid of it because it's such an old Tommy product. But look, as I put it on my face, you can just tell it is nulling out those pores. It just, like the bottom part of my face, just got a lot more glassy. And some people think I have really great skin. And I, I do have good skin. But I think some of the reason my skin is good is little things like this that kind of help, kind of help even things out a little bit. There we go. And it's just giving me a nice even palette to work with. And I think that baby skin is like $5. That's one of the reasons I thought it was gone is I thought they'd do away with products like that that were so cheap and yet really did work. And I did forget something and I don't have anything under my eyes, but I always do my eyes first because what I do is after I get my eyes done on my bare face, I go in with a little makeup wipe and well, I'll go ahead and show you because it's real important to do this, to lift the outside corners of your eyes. I just take a makeup wipe like this and then I get any little fallout from the eyeshadow. And then what I do here is I pull up the outside corner. See that? I'm pulling up and creating an outside V. So you don't have to be super careful when you make your V. Do it on this side and then pull up and then it just lifts the outside corners of your eye. I think that's a great tip and I think my makeup started looking better when I started to do my eyes first. Okay, this next part of my video is foundation and I have used this before so I'm going to really apply this very quickly. I will zip the camera ahead so it doesn't take a lot of time in the video. But I was so happy to know that this is a bestseller because I love this foundation. This is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in the color 128 Warm Nude. And basically what I do is I apply little dots all over my face and I love this stuff. I've used it for years and I, I totally swear by it. I think it is as good as very high-end foundations. It's absolutely beautiful and it wears a good long time on your skin. Okay, I just go ahead and put dots all over my face. And the next one is a surprise to me. This is the Wet n Wild Natural Finish. And I've actually used this twice now and I am so surprised. I'm kind of blown away by this. And this is a best-selling product and really I can see why. It is really great and I'll show you in just a minute. Actually, I had to remake part of this video because I had something on my teeth. So I have actually used this already, but I just give it three spritzes on the makeup brush there. And this is the BK Beauty 101, which is a fantastic foundation brush. I'll shut up now.
Now I always drag it down about halfway on my neck to make it blend because the foundation never quite matches your skin tone. It should, but it never seems to exactly. Okay, there's that foundation. Now the next step is to go in with under eye concealer and I actually had this and I forgot to buy the best selling concealer at Walmart, but come to find out this is one of the top sellers in terms of concealers and this is the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating Concealer and I do love this and I wear it in the color light beige and I'll go ahead and put that on for you. I have a lot of darkness around my eyes, especially in these inner corners and so this really helps disguise everything and I do find it hydrating. I don't think it's one of those dry dusty concealers and I'll go in with my Angie 506 and again I'll spray the brush with a little bit of setting spray and I am loving this setting spray. It's amazing and it's like five dollars. So then you just go through there and those nose, the nose darkness, something I really have. I have darkness and I have under eye veins and actually there's another product that I need to use that is not drugstore. I totally sent it to me and actually I was excited about it because it's from Sephora and it's Bobbi Brown who I love Bobbi Brown but it is a heavy duty concealer and I'll use that in just a few minutes because I do need to show that product and I, I do like it. It is not drugstore though. Okay that concealer did a beautiful job and I was going to go ahead and I think I still do have some blackness right there and I have used this and loved this for years and this is again a bestseller at Walmart and other places. This is the L'Oreal True Match Crayon Corrector and this is in peach. Let's see which, okay that's that side. Okay and look what it does. Here's the bag here and, and if you have bags under your eyes do not go in and do the whole bag with this peach. This peach is designed specifically for areas with blackness and you see I have one there. Here we go. See that just sort of nulled it out. It didn't make it totally vanish because I am 60 plus years old. I mean let's be real but there's some darkness in here. We'll go ahead and put that there. Then we'll put a little bit over in this side. I do like this product. In fact I have used this for years and you know it makes me happy that the really good products do stick around as best sellers. It's not like they replace them. If people are loving them and, and getting good use from them and they're working they do tend to keep them which is great. See how that just color corrected that area. That peach stick really does help. If you have redness they have a green stick which is good too. Now I don't know if you can see but I still have some outside veins. I have these big veins and I've tried to get them lasered and it worked to a certain extent but I'm going to be trying this Bobbi Brown concealer and this is in the color natural tan and I'll just go ahead and put it on those little veins in that little area there and you probably won't need a step like this unless you're like me and you have something specific to cover. This is a high coverage concealer but I'm finding I've used it for the last few days and it's very very hydrating so I'm not finding that it is causing the dry dusties under your eyes. I think that is very very pretty and again it may not apply to you. Okay next I'm going to be applying some loose powder and I was so surprised at the best seller that I pulled up on Walmart's list. It is the Cody Original Formula Airspun Loose Powder and this has probably been around since the 50s or 60s. It is crazy old and it is crazy cheap. There's a lot of it in there and I've had this one I, I have to admit for several years. I don't know why I don't use it because I think it really is good. Let's pat off those under eyes just a little bit. I'm not one to use the big fluffy brush very much at all because I just want to get those little oily areas you know go ahead and make the, the makeup adhere to those under eyes but I don't really like to have a lot of dry dusty because at my age dusty comes naturally. I don't need to help that along but I am really amazed at how beautiful that powder is. It goes on just beautifully and, and translucent. In fact this is the color translucent. Very very nice powder. Okay now it's time to apply the best selling blush and on the Walmart website it was this Maybelline Fit Me and I happen to have this one. I've had this one for a couple of years and again it is an oldie but goodie. I'm so glad it's hanging around. It is in the color Deep Coral and I find that corals really do work well on me and I'm using the BK Beauty 107 blush brush. I like the Angie one better but I could not find it this morning. Things are kind of a mess around here. I'll go ahead and apply that. And if you want a facelift effect then go ahead and apply that blush. Don't put it on the apples of your cheeks because as we get older our apples sink. Our apples do fall far from the tree I guess but you're just going to kind of push those bristles together and apply the blush on the top of your cheekbone. 
because you want to lift that up. Go ahead and do the other side here. Again, on the top of your cheekbones, because that's the area you want to emphasize. Then we're going to take that brush and turn it sideways and kind of buff it out, buff it out. Very, very pretty. I love blush. It's just on a desert island, it is probably the one thing I would want to have. And I always take a little bit of it up there, which can be a little dangerous. I don't know, I started that in high school. I just think it's nice to have this triangle because that's really where you want people to look. You want them to see this part of your face, your eyes. Okay, beautiful, very, very pretty. And it is a satin blush, has a little bit of a shimmer, but not much at all, very, very pretty. Now let's go ahead and do a little bit of a contour. And this is the NYX Wonder Stick, which was a bestseller. And this is dangerous. This is why I had to reshoot this portion of the video and I will talk to you about it as I'm applying it. And I'm just using the contour piece and I've had this for a while, so it's a little bit jimmied there on the end. But basically you take this and put it underneath your blush like this, just a little stripe there on the other side, and then go along your chin line and this is the dangerous part. I forgot to blend this out. Let me put a little bit along my hairline there, a little bit on each side. And uh, basically, this was the dangerous part. This is why I had to shoot the video because I told you all to get this brush, which I have to say, this is not a BK Beauty brush. It's very inexpensive, but this is the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. And what I use it for is to totally blend in all of the lines on your makeup because I can wear chocolate bars. And that's exactly what happened to me and why I had to shoot this video again. So let me just go in here and I'll show you how it works. See, you just really use that. And it's very, very, very dense bristles. So it allows you to just buff that contour right into your skin. And you turn it on its side and just buff, 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 buff. Very pretty. Now I'm going to go down here and do this one. Man, that was awful. I had a whole video full of me with a brown stripe on my chin. And at first I thought maybe I could hide it. And then I thought, no, I can't hide it. I got to reshoot. That is the wondrous life of a YouTuber. You know, I heard Angie of Hot and Flashy say something the other day, which I really appreciated. She was being interviewed by someone and she mentioned that sometimes she applies makeup and she has to do it all over again because being older, sometimes our makeup just doesn't look good. And I thought that was so cool that Angie, of all people, has makeups that don't look good. I certainly do at different points. So I thought that was neat that she shared that. It made me feel a little more like I'm, I'm not abnormal, but she was right. She said the young girls, when they're 20, 22 years old, they put anything on their face and it looks beautiful. Okay, so everything is all buffed out. One last check here of the chocolate bars. Okay, there is that contour and this brush is amazing. Okay, now let's go into something that I've had for maybe a couple of months and this is a bestseller, turns out. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome and it is called Metallic Highlighter. And because it said metallic and it looks so darn metallic, I thought, hmm, I wasn't sure I really wanted to try it. But since it was a bestseller, I thought I'd add it to this and it is really amazing and not as crazy looking shimmery as you would think. Oh, look at it there. It, it looks terrifying. Okay, let me get my BK Beauty 108 and we'll try this out. And I did try it yesterday and I loved it. Oh gosh, look at that. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. But, but really not all that strident. It looks pretty natural, I would say. And I'm very surprised because of the name metallic and also just how it looks. I like a little down there too. I think that is so, so pretty. Now we'll do a little bit down the nose, kind of pinch that brush and go right down the nose. And I watched Wayne Goss say that whenever you highlight the nose, just to do it halfway down, and somehow that stuck with me, I don't know why. But anyway, there's a little highlight there, and we'll do the cupid's bow. Give ourselves that bee stung lip look. Ooh, pretty. I'm getting dangerous here. I'm, I'm adding more highlighter, that's always scary. Okay, there is that highlighter. Ooh, I think that is so pretty. Really do like that, and it's probably six bucks. Crazy amazing. Okay, next let's go into a best-selling bronzer, and this is very inexpensive, like maybe $4. And this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the color Ticket to Brazil. That sounds good. And basically, I will just open that up. Very beautiful bronzer. I would say it has a little bit of peach in addition to the brown tone. And I'm using this BK Beauty Brush 103 to dip into that bronzer, and we'll just go ahead and hit the areas the sun would hit. Oh, that's pretty. 
and it has a little bit of a shimmer to it, not bad, right across the nose there, chin, that white chin, a little bit on the neck. And I've really noticed on the neck, that's a really good area that bronzer really does help to blend in. That is beautiful and totally natural. Okay, now it's time for lips. And the best seller in this category was the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. And it is a gorgeous little color. It is in the color Istanbul, Istanbul. And it is just a little pinky, rosy, kind of a nudish color. Very pretty. Maybe a little non-nude, a little more pink probably. Ooh, pretty. I love this. Absolutely love that. That's a nice tip. So you can kind of sculpt your lips there. Ooh, that is really a pretty color. Now, the lip liner. And this is a problem of buying online. This is not the color of lip liner I would have chosen had I been on site at Walmart, but I ordered it online and then picked it up. So I didn't see it till I got it home. But this is a bestseller. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the color 115 Totally Toffee. And of course, toffee is a brown color and it did not look brown online. So I did try this yesterday and amazingly it worked out. I wouldn't have thought it would, but the Totally Toffee color is brown. There you go. See that? That is a brown and I'm wearing pink. So that is just kind of a, kind of a weird thing. However, I just applied it very sparsely yesterday and it looked good. So let's do it again. Okay, it is probably not the color I would have chosen to go with this, but I don't think it looks bad. And whenever you have a lip liner that doesn't match your lip color very well and you don't want it to stick out crazily, then don't apply it before the lipstick, apply it after the lipstick because then it does tend to blend in and look a little softer. I actually really kind of like this. Okay, now let's add a little lip gloss and these are best sellers and I'm in love with them. I am obsessed with them. And I looked on Walmart's website for the best selling gloss and this was it and I totally get it. This is the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. They have hyaluronic acid and 90% of women studied said that they really made their lips moister. And this is in the color 08 Stone, a very pretty nude color. Ooh, look at that. I absolutely love this and I can see why it's a bestseller. I think it's going to be around for a good long time. These colors are all very natural. They blend in beautifully. They give you just a little bit of glossy shine, a little bit of shimmer, which helps us all. And look at that gorgeous little tube it comes in. It looks super high end and I think it's like $6.99. Well, and that's how that style turned out. And I'm loving the T3 Jumbo Hot Rollers. And I have a video on my channel, or it will be on soon, that shows you exactly how I got this style. I'm starting to wear it a lot of the time, and I really do like it. But I did promise that I'd show you my bargain jewelry. And here's a look at my outfit of the day, which is an Amazon cable knit sweater that comes in many different colors, and I absolutely love it. But these are my little David Yurman alike earrings. And I used to sell David Yurman on eBay for years. In fact, if you want a video about my David Yurman collection, it is extensive, like scary extensive, but just let me know in the comment section. But those are beautiful little two-tone earrings and they come in all silver or all yellow gold. And all of these pieces, they are in the style of David Yurman, but they're not exact copies, so they're totally legal and they're very reasonable. Everything here is like under 15. This might've been $20, I'm not sure, but look at this. This is a David Yurman alike ring, and it is CZ, of course, and it was under $20. Absolutely beautiful. And here is a little classic David Yurman bracelet. Looks very similar to his most classic bracelet design of all times. And this other bracelet is absolutely beautiful. That has a little metallic clasp. It feels very, very rich. And I'll link it below. And on this hand, I have a great two-tone pearl classic David Yurman alike bracelet, very beautiful. And I have it paired with this CZ face, kind of diamond looking face watch. I think it's upside down, but I just think it's absolutely beautiful. And it reminds me of a friend I had when I was in my twenties. In fact, we're still friends. We went to high school together and she always looked so rich. You know, we, we were in our twenties and struggling along financially and she would show up with these great diamond looking things on. And I said, how do you do it? You know, I can't afford that stuff. And she said, well, I can't either. I buy fakes, but they look so good. Nobody knows. And that's exactly what these are. This is how to get a very rich look for less. And if you're interested in learning more bargain fashion tips, I hope you'll stick around for my next video.